this would be the first screen that you would see. You just simply mm -hmm. click on login. And from there, you have choices how you wish to actually log in. In this case, I'm going to select my uh, Google account. And open my electrical.us. Put in my password. Okay, but because I was already uh, registered, I didn't get that. But in the registration, um, I had the chance to put in who I was. I said participant and from St. Paul's Brookfield, and it had my new Milford information. Now, it's important is that for notifications, when this comes up, you want to click on allow. And then from there, we're logged in. Uh, I can take a seat. I'll go to Corinth, and, and then here is an important part of this is that it's asking to enable can, camera and microphone, so I'm going to do that. And then we get a pop-up here that will ask me to, you, you know, to allow the microphone, and that will be important to do that, and it will allow the camera. And if you're not sure, you can check your settings here. Make sure you're on your webcam correctly and the right microphone. You can also run a test uh, of your speaker and microphone beforehand to make sure that it's working properly and then join the table. And that should be it. Excellent. And right now you're in Corinth and I can go in there. Right. And it's, of course, you. As we're seeing, I'm just coming up with my little W because I'm on the picture. That's I also don't see my video because I have to turn it on. You'll see the buttons down here below. I just turn the video on, and I'm there. Right. Excellent. And once again, you can uh, resize this by holding it from one mm -hmm. corner. You can move it around. Okay. Yep, I'm going to move mine you around the screen. Also, um, mm -hmm. and I can change and use a different format of viewing who's there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll go back to the, we can do the chat. I can type here to the table. And you should be able to see that message coming in. So that's uh, essentially the chatting function. You want to quickly talk about the direct chat, Bill? You have to go to the attendees and click on the three buttons in front of the uh, person's name. Oh, okay. And send a direct message. There we go. Okay. Excellent. And then the chat okay. messaging is for the whole venue. So you have three functions, direct messaging, chatting with the whole, or just chatting with your table using the table yeah. chat. So if I go, yeah. So if you're looking at my screen, if, you, if I click on the live chat, then at this point, anything I post here would go out to everyone, correct? Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Okay. Where direct chat was more of of chatting with just one specific person. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then the other, and then the other function was the the table chat, which was down here below our table right. uh, screen, and, and that would be where I would type that, and it would go to everyone within that table. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So it's basically three different ways. And another good thing is you can just pick up your panes and you can move it around wherever you want. You can even make it smaller by going on one of the edges and then just making it small, picking it up and placing it in an area that you are most comfortable seeing it. Okay. Also, you want to make sure that the browser is at the right zoom level because if it's zoomed out really really big you will not be able to see certain aspects of it see so you want to make sure that your browser is at 100 percent or maybe even less All right, so now, uh, Bill, how if we move from table number one to table number four? Okay, I don't, I'm sorry. All right, I've moved to table number four. Awesome. And that is how simple it is to move from table to table. All what you have to do is just move yourself from one seat to another. Now, there's another thing that I'd like to point out. In, in this case, you see, for Bill, you see a W, and for me, you see my picture. So that's because the way Bill um, authenticated himself, uh, he probably didn't have a picture associated with him. So that's why the first letter... That's, cor that's correct. I don't have one associated with that Google account right. yet. Right. Absolutely. So so that's that's how you will be seen. And then let's go over to the list of attendees. So it's this little icon on this corner over here so when you click on that you will see all the people who are attending that means all the people who are in this space you'll get a list of them like this or you can change the list and see more of their information like this just like in zoom you can actually share your screen as well I won't do that, but uh, Bill, would you like to share your screen? Okay. Give me a moment. And I can show you I'm clicking around to different locations on my screen so you can see different images awesome so let's go to the questions section i'm going to move this a little up so that it is out of the way of everything else okay, okay so i've come so over now, and clicked on questions right so let's say a speaker is in session and you have questions for the speaker. So this would be a really good place to share your questions. So some time ago, I must have posted this uh, question here yeah, and then other it. people upvoted it. 
So Bill, would you uh, be so kind to just do an upvote for that question? So now it's at five and then you will see. Oh, okay, so you had already upvoted it. I had before. already done that, yes. Right, so it went from four to five. So essentially, let's try this. So I just upvoted it and Bill, maybe you can upvote the second one. There you go, right? So that way the speaker will be able to see which question is um, being requested by most of the people. So which question to give priority to. We're gonna go to the backstage. Bill is sitting in Ephesus <laughs> and we'll go to Backstage. All right. So now if I start the session, there's a countdown that begins. Awesome. So I don't have my webcam turned on. That's why my uh, photo is being displayed here. But I can see that I have two people in the entire venue and Bill can no longer see his table but he will be seeing whatever is happening here on this screen. So now all of a sudden you will see for Bill the questions tab is now live. So he can now start asking questions because the session is now live. Now, Bill, you want to uh, raise your hand using this icon over here? Yeah, okay. All right. So now you can see that the speaker and the host will be able to see that the hand has been raised and there's one person who has raised hand. So if I click on that, I will see a list of all the people whose hands have been raised. And I can click on handing a mic to Bill. What happens there is that by my clicking this, Bill ends up on the stage. So that way Bill and I can have a conversation uh, and he can ask his question and the whole venue will be able to see the person who's asking the question. All right? Mm -hmm. And yep. so, this is wonderful. So I can actually withdraw or Bill can also decide to leave the stage, right? So let mm -hmm. me just withdraw this. And let's say even if you don't raise your hand and there is someone in the audience that I would like to bring to the stage, I can actually go to their name, click on these three dots and invite them to the stage. Okay, and, and I get an point, uh, Bill invitation. Would be seeing... mm -hmm. And I accept the invite. And there you are. Right? And so that's really mm -hmm. for the speaker and the host to know that these are the functions for them to use. Now, we never want to really end the session because then we lose everything until 
the session is really over. So we are just going to take a break. So as soon as I hit the button of take a break, the people on the backstage, which is at this point, Bill and I, will still be here. And the people in the front stage in the main venue would now be able to see all the tables and will be able to interact with each other, right? So Bill, why don't we do this? We hit this take a break. So I will do this. You don't have to do anything. Okay, and it yep, says okay. welcome to backstage. Now what's happening is that any conversation between the speakers, the host and the speakers is not visible or audible to the people on the tables. Mm -hmm. So the speaker and the host can have a conversation sort of behind the curtain before the curtains open, right? Now let's say we want yep. to go back to the lounge. So Bill. Okay, and I have a button above me that says that. Awesome, so let's do that. So I have a, yeah. Okay, so we go to the lounge. And let's, uh, so, so you went back to Ephesus, but I want to sit in Philippi. So I'll go and sit in Philippi. And uh, Bill, you want to join me in Philippi? Sure. Awesome. So now if I, so none of my cameras it says is available. Well, there it is. Okay. Now, there you here go. we are, back to square one. <laughs> so it's extremely simple. You have tables, you can move around tables, you can have table chats using this icon, you can check your uh, settings, you can uh, make the screen large or small, you can move it around, uh, you can mute yourself, you can have direct messaging with people, you can have live chat with the entire venue, you can see who the people are, you can ask questions, right, when, those, uh, when the session is live. You can ask questions here, uh, and and you can even see a list of all the sessions here if there are multiple sessions. So that's really it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions, thoughts, Bill? No, I guess it's uh, just uh, from my see here is understanding that when you come into um, the venue that you take a seat somewhere and you can make that selection based on the people that are already there if you see some people you know that you want to get in touch with or whatever you can do that or just go and and uh be part of a a, a table maybe and meet some new people uh then on the uh right hand side i see that you know we have uh, sessions that you can look at you can see who's in attendance by clicking on attendees um you can, of course, engage in a, in a chat that goes either to the whole group or you can go back to the chat at the table and then, of course, ask questions when you're in a um, session. And those are, the, those are the basic parts of it that I see. Right. So thank you very much.